In this lesson, I will show you some key question words in Arabic, the major personal pronouns, and I will show you an example for a conversation between two people. Let's get started. Falnabda. Some key question words in Arabic. We have who is men. Ma -n, men. Where? Aina. 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 When? Meta. Ma ta. Meta. What? Mada. Ma the. Mada. Why? Limada. Li ma the. Limada. How? Kaifa. 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 How much? Become. Be cam. Become. How many? Cam. Cam. So I will read them all again. Here we have men. Aina. Meta. Mada. Limada. Kaifa. Become. And cam. So these are some. Uh, question words in Arabic. Now let's learn more about personal pronouns. Well, the personal pronouns in Arabic are more specific than the personal pronouns in any other language. The personal pronoun describes one thing, two things, and this is, doesn't exist in English, and they describe three or more things. So, you will find in Arabic singular, dual, plural, masculine and feminine pronouns and each personal pronoun creates an is or sentence example to say he is a boy in arabic it is huwa walad he by itself means huwa and he is still huwa he is a boy huwa walad another example she is a girl she means here, she is still here. So the translation for she is a girl, here, bint. I am a girl, I means Anna. I am Anna. So I am a girl means in Arabic Anna bint. So now let's check out the personal pronouns and how to say them in Arabic. I, Anna. A na ana. He huwa. Hu wa huwa. She hiya. He ya. We nahnu. Nahnu. So here we have ana huwa hiya nahnu. More pronouns. You masculine. Anta. An ta, anta. You feminine, an ti, an ti. You dual masculine or feminine, which means if you have two males or two females or one male and one female, you will say an tu ma, an tu ma, an tu ma. You plural masculine, an tum, an tum. Antum. You plural feminine. Antunna. An tu na. Antunna. So the pronouns here we have anta, anti, antuma, antum, antunna. More personal pronouns. They. They in the dual form masculine or feminine. Two males, two females, or one male, one female, you can use huma, hu, ma, huma. They, plural, masculine, hum, hum. They, plural, feminine, hunna, hunna. So again, they, they are huma, hum, and hunna. So now you have got an idea about the personal pronouns. Now I will show you an example for a conversation between two people. 
Sammy and Sarah. In this conversation, I try to cover all uh, or what we have learned so far. So the conversation is Sammy, Assalamu alaikum. Sarah, Wa alaikum assalam. Sammy, كيف حالك؟ سارة بخير شكرا وأنت سامي الحمد لله سارة من أين أنت سامي أنا من كندا وأنت سارة أنا سورية سامي ما اسمك سارة اسمي سارة ما اسمك سامي أنا سامي سارة ما مهنتك سامي أنا ممرض في المشفى الكندي وأنت سارة أنا مترجمة من اللغة العربية إلى اللغة الإنجليزية سامي ممتاز سارة هل لديك أخ أو أخت؟ سامي لا أنا وحيد وأنت هل لديك أخ أو أخت؟ سارة نعم لدي أخ اسمه محمود يعمل طبيب وأخت اسمها هيا تعمل محامية سامي فرصة سعيدة سارة فرصه سعيده so this is was an example or this was an example for a conversation between two people they met for the first time and as i mentioned before i try to cover what we have learned so far so you can listen to that conversation again and try to translate it into english and uh, i think that's all for this lesson keep on practicing thank you for watching shukran للمتابعه ومع السلامه